Now I want to go to some other sites. I just want to show you Twitter. So Twitter is a one-line blog. How many people know what a blog is? A blog is an ongoing log that you can update. And if you put something of real value on it, then Google will find it and connect it to people. So if you wrote an essay that really was well thought through and well done, it might be something you'd want on a blog. Again, everything I'm saying here, you want to make sure you go through with your teachers and parents before you put stuff on the web. But work with them on it. Someone asked me, well, how do I learn how to use Facebook? I said, find someone that's 18 or under to explain it to you. And I went to a business guy and I said to him, why does your Facebook look so great? He says, well, the babysitter sat down with my wife and I and taught us how to do it. So you have a great advantage here with this. So Twitter. So here we go. I posted I'm teaching the class. And this is a upper manager at eye contact that says hello. He says, he's, I'm one of the best uh, social media educators. That's nice. David Williams. And he's saying hello and so forth. So that was just posted and it's on the internet. I posted, I'm teaching the next class. Does anyone recognize this room? What is it? It's right here. It's from the back of the room. I had somebody, raise your hand back there, who took my cell phone, stood back there, took a picture, and posted it online, and said, I'm teaching the class. That's how fast things can get on the internet. So you want to be thinking about what positive things you want to get on the internet. Now, it doesn't mean you can't have fun with your friends. But you do want to remember, if you have fun at the expense of someone on the Internet, the world will remember it. They'll remember that negative comment you made about someone. So you want to be thinking about that for your future, and why is that? So you get a job, so you have more opportunities, so you can make more money. So someone won't say no because of something you thought was funny or cute or clever or were really angry and thought you were justified on the internet. I want you to be thinking about what conversations are you going to have that will open up opportunities for you later in life versus closing opportunities. So I really became aware of the true power of the internet a number of years ago when I, I met this guy um, through a discussion group about podcasts. How many people know what a podcast is? Raise your hand. It's audio on a blog. It's like having your own radio show on the internet. And I set one up and I wanted help for my podcast. And I met this guy in India that was giving me advice on my podcast because he had done one for a while. And we developed a friendship and then I used something called Skype. Have you ever heard of Skype? It's an internet phone system which let this gentleman in India and me talk free over the internet. And we talked and I had another friend that was going to India. The government of India hired him to bring him in so that he would uh, help them work on a project for dealing with hunger in India by the government. Kind of a big job to get. And I said, Steve, I know this is a long shot, but I have a sense it might be worthwhile introducing you to this other guy I met in India because he's interviewed a lot of important people in the government. He said, great, introduce me together. I sent them profiles so they could check each other out they met and talked on the web, and they found out that where Steve was giving his talk in India was less than four kilometers from where this guy worked. And these two people, when he was in India, met for breakfast and emailed me a photo of them in India having breakfast. And that's when I realized the world really is flat. You know, that we can have contacts locally and globally in our lifetime. We can have someone across the, 
the entire world helping us out on a project. We can have local contacts we've invested in. This is a, a world you live in that wasn't available before. And exciting. And, and as you think about your future, you want to think about building what type of relationships do you want to build that would give you more options. You know, some of us made friends in life with people that just made us feel good, but may not inspire us to be our best. I did some of that. The truth is, a real friend inspires you to be your best in life. A friend that lets you justify not being your best is not a friend. And you can make these at a global level. These are opportunities can exist today that really didn't exist before it. 